Inside the Numbers, powered by AWS. Take a closer look at Patrick Mahomes here, too. Uh, according to Next Gen Stats, he completed 26 of 28 passes under 10 air yards. In the game, he had six yards per attempt, his fifth lowest this season. I thought you didn't like dink and dunk. You, you hate dink and dunk. I hate it. But, but when that's all you got on your offense, you got to do it. Like, way to go, Chiefs. Like they, that's I just it's I think why the, one of the reasons I'm liking the Chiefs more is the fact that they reevaluated themselves and said this is what we are right this is what we are is for us to win a game this year this is the best way to do it and if we got to throw a bunch of short passes and dink and dunk our way down the field and stay a little patient with the run and let our defense go then that's fine I mean look how many behind the line of scrimmage they, one two three they, four five six seven eight I mean like they 10 become or the best RPO screen team in all of football here over the last month I mean he like an Aaron Rodgers is the best screen thrower in football because he could just so quick get it out so on target you know, off of so many different platforms that the screen game is more effective for the Chiefs than it would be for most quarterbacks and offenses because of Mahomes' ability to flick the ball out of his hands and still be accurate in the shotgun without the laces and all of that. It's next level shit. So that's where. And where the game is awesome is, you know, they're still scary. So you still have to play Divas and go, it's still Mahomes. He'll still throw that deep he doesn't care we can't just let him have it right so they're like fine you want to do that you want to play a little softer I'll be surgical I'll be surgical I'm gonna dig and dunk your ass until you get up here and start giving me some shots to throw the ball down mm. the field and that's where they've gone right now and they're they're really like and I mean they came out in the game, quick pass, RPO, wide receiver screen, tight end screen. I mean, get everybody touches, get everybody in a rhythm, right? Get it going that way. Uh, and then, you know, it just continued throughout the game where it was efficient and it was part of their managing of the overall football game that I thought was brilliant. In years past, Mahomes would get frustrated. Exactly right. A little impatient. Exactly Is right. Is that no longer a problem for it, Patrick Mahomes and this Chiefs team? It was a problem nine weeks ago where yeah. I still was like, he's being impatient. Like, remember when they were going through that lull of losing four to six, I was yeah. going, Mahomes is kind of getting some bad habits here. He's not playing real good. Raiders game was right. that one of them, Raiders maybe? game. There was a few others. You know, they lost four out of six there, five out of eight, where, yeah, he lost trust of the receivers. I think he lost, like, wait, we got to get something going. He was trying to force it to happen. Not the case. I mean, you saw it. I wrote a star, though. You know, the, the Ravens' D game plan was, like, started off nothing exotic. But it's hard to play that way versus these Chiefs and this guy at quarterback right now because he will dink and dunk you to death right now. He'll be patient. They'll run the ball. And, you know, then we talked about their pass pro is really good. Even minus Joe Tooney, it's really good. Now, it stinks they don't have him because as the game went on, Tooney, Allegretti, the, the replacement, he really struggled against Matabuke. And he's a weak link, something to watch for in the mm -hmm. Super Bowl. But, like, Oh, you want to play zones, take away the big plays, don't want to do anything crazy so Mahomes can't make the big play? Well, he can protect. And when they sent four, really, especially early on in the game, he had all day and he figured out how to get the ball out. And they just, like, slowly matriculated the ball down the football field, <laughs> as a wise man once said. I always like, I always like that term. Uh, <laughs> that was Inside the Numbers, powered by AWS. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday Pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the What the F*** Happened podcast. We're going to get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week. And then Thursday, I'm picking games with that jerk Florio. So you know where to find us, homies. Keep watching. Peace out. We'll see you.